Hey everyone, what is up? My name is Megan and today we're gonna to be doing a wear test of the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. Before I zoom you in, let's go ahead and talk about some of the claims of this foundation. So on the box it says science plus color, your best healthy looking skin day every day. Skin looks more radiant by up to 285%. Where did they get their numbers? Who said it was 285% better? Like, I just, not just the foundation. I think the numbers that people come up with are just, I think they've pulled out of their butt. But that's just me. There is a lot of claims here. So let me go ahead and go over them real quick. It says your skin will look hydrated, plumper, smoother, and brighter. The medium coverage hydrating foundation has been expertly formulated with skincare ingredients to combine instant glow and buildable coverage with long-term skincare benefits. I can tell you right now, I have seen some reviews of oily skin people and the oil is just, after like an hour, it is beaming. So you would have to constantly powder if you have oily skin. So I'm not necessarily saying this isn't for oily skin. It, it can be, but you're gonna have to do a lot more work to keep it where you want it to be. With brightening rose complex and hydrating hyaluronic acid to improve the look of skin with each wear, it's going to improve our skin because of the skincare in it. The new beautiful skin foundation is the secret to your best healthy looking skin all day every day discover the clinically proven results beautiful radiant skin by 285 percent beautifully hydrated by up to 166 percent skin looks beautifully plumper and smoother by 181 percent appears more even by up to 210%. 90% agree that the Beautiful Skin Foundation improves the appearance of skin with each wear and 90% agree that the Beautiful Skin Foundation helps minimize the appearance of pores, pigmentation, and dark spots. So the only reason why I don't like these clinically proven numbers is because you can literally have a group of 10 people and say that's your clinical study. I mean, is it a bunch of people? Then yeah, maybe those numbers are accurate, but they can kind of say whatever they want. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, let me go ahead and zoom you in and we'll get this started. Hey. All right, y'all, let's get this started. So just for reference, I have normal to dry skin and it is super dry right now. Anytime the winter months come, like it is 25 degrees outside in Texas. I don't know what's going on, but it's killing my skin. So I have a feeling this will do well on me. We shall see. I picked up the shade five neutral. I did look on their website. They're out of a lot of colors right now, especially in the neutral categories. So it will come back in stock though. It is very pretty packaging. It looks very much like their Lux theme that they have going on. So let's go ahead and start. I'm gonna do one, ow, I just scratched myself. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna do one side with the beauty blender and one side with the brush and then I'll even it all out with the beauty blender and then I'm going to use powder on one side and not on the other just to see the difference of the foundation and I'm not gonna use any primer either I want to see how it wears on its own so here's one pump let's see if it runs it is a bit runny but it's not watery like some of the other ones I've tried so this is this does look pretty nice actually So I was actually scared this shade was gonna be a little bit too dark for me. They didn't have the five in, which is what, honestly, I probably needed. This is a shade too dark for me, but this will be great in the summer months. I actually was not gonna do a video today. Uh, because of, I'm, I'm assuming because of the weather, I have laid in bed for three days straight. I am hurting so bad. I didn't want to get out of bed this morning, but my daughter made me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's been really rough lately. And uh, I made a promise to myself to keep going and to not give up on this little journey that I'm on by just, just moving forward and trying to get my body moving. And so I'm here and we're doing a video. So if I seem a little grumpy or anything like that, that's why I'm just really, really hurting um, lately. So please don't hold it against me. Let's take a closer look. 
My skin looks beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. 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 So it is dewy, 100% dewy. I could see why uh, people with oily skin were saying that it's just a little too oily for them, but wow, my skin looks so pretty. All right, let's go ahead and put this on with a brush. And I'm just using the Haley's Beauty brush. I think it's the foundation brush. Man, I've just got hair everywhere, my goodness. I personally do like the beauty blender side better just because I just feel like the brush doesn't 100% get all the creases and crevices all that kind of stuff but I do think it did a good job so I think either way if you wanted to do the beauty blender or the brush I think you'd be you'd be fine so you know what this feels like though at nighttime before I go to bed I put on a Ton of skincare. I do all of my skincare and then I put on a bunch of like serums and stuff like that um, to really get that moisture in since I'm so dry. That's just, this is what it feels like. It feels as of right now, it feels like I just did my skincare. I don't necessarily know if that's a good thing in a foundation. Let's go ahead and powder. I'm just gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape because I can powder my whole face with this. I don't love um, the unset side because everything keeps like clinging to it. I feel like I keep getting hairs and stuff in it. I don't like that. Hold on one second. Let me get some concealer. It is doing a weird little separation thing here on my nose, but I can't, I'm not going to go off of my nose because my skin's really weird right now uh, with the weather. So I'm only going to go off of my mouth and like everywhere else, but my nose, we're just going to ignore that. It just is what it is. Let me go ahead and finish my face and I'll be right back. All right, I am back and I left this side completely cream. So all the products on my face are cream. And this side that I powdered, I did all powdered products. It's not bad. It's definitely not bad. Um, I don't love the way it's sitting on my nose. But again, like I said, we can't go off my nose. Everything else looks beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So if we took my nose out of the equation, my skin looks glowing. It's almost too dewy on this side I think I can't make up my mind if this is too dewy on this side or yeah I, I just can't decide if I like it or not so obviously we have a full day we have 10 hours of wear I'm just scared this side might actually get oily and I have never in my life had oil on my face like I'm not an oily person so yeah let's go ahead and get started with the wear test. I've had it on for about mm, maybe 15, 20 minutes. It is now 12, 13. So I would say like around 12 it started and I will definitely wear it until 10, 11 o'clock at night. So it'll get a very good wear test. I did want to mention real quick, the palettes that I get in BoxyCharm, I don't typically use them on camera, but this palette here, oh my goodness. I don't know if you can see how like gorgeous my eyes are right now but first off look at the packaging how pretty that is I am obsessed these colors are amazing amazing this is the first palette I've ever owned from Wander Beauty so love it I love it okay so let's go ahead and start the wear test I will be back in a few hours to update you okay so I want to try to see if I could get up super close to show you 
how my skin actually is. That is the cream side. And here is the powder side. And here's what I was talking about with my nose. But one thing I find super strange and I wanted to mention is I wear this mascara all the time. All the time. I've never had it flake, smudge, nothing. And under the powdered and the cream side, it has smudged like really bad to the point of where if if I didn't know this was a new foundation, I would never wear this mascara again. So um, I do think that's kind of weird. I don't know if it's because of the skincare in the foundation, but I just thought it was strange enough to point out. We are eight hours into the wear test and I was just coming into the bathroom to look at my face. And you know what's crazy is I actually like the way not so much on my under eyes, and I think that can be fixed though, especially like normally I would do touch-ups and stuff. Um, I like how my cheeks look on both sides. So if you wanted to do cream or powder, mm, I actually really like it. And this is too dark for me, so you'll see like here it's a little too dark. But I think I genuinely like the way that it looks. Again, I have normal to dry skin, so I could see how if you're oily, this probably wouldn't work that well for you. So it has separated a little bit through the nose. And I think if you had the right primer, it would not do that. Um, and given the circumstances, guys, I have put this test through the ringer. I have been cleaning. I've been moving stuff. I moved my beauty room to another room. So I have been going hard all day. So I have sweat a lot. <laughs> I am actually like I'm really shocked how well it's doing. Yeah, I do think it's actually so far holding up pretty well as to where some of my other foundations might have come off my nose. Like it's it's on my nose still. So that's pretty impressive. That's pretty impressive. So I'll be back in a few more hours after I have cleaned some more and moved the rest of my beauty stuff to the other room. And um, I will let you know how it is at the end. All right, guys, it is now, it's almost 11 o'clock at night. So I have been wearing this for 11 hours almost. I am actually super shocked at how my cheeks have done. On both sides, my cheeks look beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Like this side, I'm sh I've, my cream products have never, never lasted this long. So I don't know what's going on, but it's I like it a lot. Um, and even on the powdered side, it just looks airbrushed and flawless. But as for my T-zone, <laughs> uh, it's gone on my chin and it's gone around my nostrils and my under eyes are just doing something really funky. I know I put concealer on my under eyes, so that could be a part of it. And I know my nose and my chin, guys, when I tell you... I have done the most today. I moved my entire beauty room into another room of the house. I've been sweating. I cleaned the house. I did laundry. Uh, I, I went to Walmart. I have done so much today. So a lot of the times when I'm sweating, I itch my nose and I scratch my face. And it just is what it is. It's a part of life. And so I actually don't take any points away from the foundation today because this was just normal wear. I, I feel like it was just normal wear for the type of day that I had. So I do think the under eye over here is kind of weird. And I do think it's kind of weird how the mascara flaked and smudged today when it's never done that before. So I am eager to see how this wears next time I wear it. I will try a different mascara with it, see if that flakes and smudges. And if it does, it's 100% the foundation that is causing that. So overall, it's not my favorite foundation that I've ever used. I do think it is really pretty and airbrushed type of look when it first went on it was really like greasy looking or it looked like I put a ton of sunscreen on my face that's exactly what it looked like and I don't hate it I actually like that kind of look it looks very glass like and fresh but if you see I lost two fingernails today this one's cracked down in the middle of my finger so don't mind it um, it's not my preferred foundation and there are many other ones that I like better than this but it's good. I'm glad I have it. Do I recommend it for the price for $44? 
I don't know. I would never recommend that someone buy an expensive foundation like that because there are so many other foundations that work probably better. We've got ColourPop Pretty Fresh, Fenty Pro Filter, which that's like 30, but still, um, there are other alternatives out there. So I'm on the fence about it. There are pros about it and there are cons. So let's see if I was to put on some concealer. Let's see how this would help the face. I mean, come on, look at that. Just, I mean, for 11 hours for never touching up, not doing it, and actually like messing with my face a lot. Guys, I, for 11 hours and for messing with my face a lot and sweating, I, I'm actually pretty impressed. I'm actually really impressed. So, you know, I said I wasn't, I was on the fence and I'm not really sure 100% about it, but after giving it like a little revamp, uh, I'm leaning more towards the positive sides of it. Again, if you're oily, it might not be as great for you, but for my dry skinned people out there, this might be a really good one. My affirmation today wasn't so much of an affirmation, but this morning when I woke up, I told you I wasn't sure if I was gonna do a video. I, I haven't worked out in a couple days. I've been hurting insanely bad. Um, it's just been pretty rough the past few days. That's just CRPS. And in the moment when I was thinking that I wanted to kind of stop and give up, I don't want to work out anymore, I don't really want to make videos, I do now, but in that moment when I was like, I don't want to work out, I don't want to make videos, I just want to sit here and sulk, I'm so much pain, I came across this. And it says, you made that choice to improve yourself for a reason. Don't go backwards to habits and situations that weren't helping you evolve. You have to keep reminding yourself why you even decided to move forward. Stay positive about what's to come by being consistent with your change. And in that moment, I just got this like burst of energy and this feeling through my body of like, I made this decision to better my health and my mental health and my life with this with these goals that I have. So I got my butt up. I've done the video. I cleaned my house. I changed the beauty room. I have done so much today and I feel really good. So it's really crazy. I think, I think a lot of times we hold ourselves back by our, our thoughts. So I, I'm really happy that I came across that this morning. It made me feel pretty good. So that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. And if you've made it this far, thank you so much. It really does help the YouTube algorithm. As always, please like, share, subscribe. And if you want to follow me along on Mondays and Thursdays, hit that notification bell. All right, y'all. Bye.